This is Darren from Open Road Toyota Richmond, and what I have here is the 2020 Toyota Sienna All-Wheel Drive Limited Edition. So this is the highest trim you can get, and in this video I'll be going over all the functions and features, and what to expect when you pick up your brand new vehicle. So let's get started. Now I'm going to talk about the rear of the vehicle. So this does come equipped with keyless entry, so if you want more information on that, uh, I actually made another video, a separate video on that, go into more detail on everything about the keyless entry, about the doors and how it works, and how to change the battery. Now, if you want more information, uh, there's a description at the bottom. I did link that as well. But as for this, let me just brush over it, okay? So this over here, yes, you can press this to open the back trunk, but if you have the key with you, there's a button just right under, in between the E and N. Press that, and then it'll just open up. So what we have here is a huge storage space at the back. And as you can see, this over here is the cloth mats that come with your vehicle. So let me just put that aside for now. All right. So here's what you have. Now you have the seats over here. Now you can just read this over here, but I'm going to save you some time and actually just show you how it's done. All you have to do is take this over here and pull it up. So, like this, and it pulls up. So let me just show you. This automatically collapses as soon as you pull this up. And then, pull it back, and then it will go down as easy as this. All right, and this over here is to cover that gap right over here. So, as for bringing it up, it's very simple. All you have to do is pull it up, and don't worry about this being too heavy. There's actually a, a hydraulics that actually assist you with this. So you can just go like this, pull it up, just like that, and then pull this back. And then as soon as you let go of this string, it'll actually lock into place. So just like this, go back, let go, it's in place. Now this string, you can adjust the seat if you want. So I'm gonna pull this. So say for example, you want it a bit um, further here, then just let go, just like that. So I'm gonna show you a different angle, but with this seat. When you do collapse the seats, what you get is a massive storage compartment. Now I put these plate frames here as for scale. So if you're wondering exactly how big, you can actually go and just measure your plate frames and then it would fit about four. Now you can move these seats forward to get more space, but then uh, the passengers might complain about legroom. Now you can actually take off both of these seats and get even more. You can pretty much probably fit another three and a half plate frames there. So uh, the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to move those seats and take them off. All right, so this is the passenger door. They are electronic, so if this door is already unlocked, this over here, as soon as you pull it, will automatically open up just like that. Now there is a button right here that you can press that will close it. So if I press this, see, it closes. Press it again, instantly it will go back. This over here is the seats. So uh, when I was talking about how, you know, the back over there, if there's four plate frames, passengers here can sit comfortably. Now, if you want to get, you can move this forward, but as I said before, they might complain about legroom. If you're wondering what that is over there, these are special headphones just for your Sienna. So they're not Bluetooth, they're infrared. As you can see, batteries included. All right, same thing for this as well. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but for now, let me just talk about the, how to move the seats forward and back and how to take them off. So. This right here, this one. This one is for taking the seats off. This is to move it. So if you wanted to move it, say further back, all you have to do, pull this up and then push it. It does slide on these two rails right here, just like that. Now, uh, this over here, if you do pull this up, the chair is gonna fold up and collapse to make it easier for you to take out. So let me just show you how that would look like at another angle, but for now, let me show you this. So, I'm going to pull this up. 
See, it just collapses just like that. And this over here, as soon as you lift this up, you'll hear a click, and that gets it ready to be taken off. So I'm gonna show you at a different angle how it would look like if you do take this off. When you lift this up, curl it just like that, and then you take this, and then what will happen is that the entire seat will come off just like that. So I actually parked this car in a much brighter location because I'll be talking about the driver door. So as you open the driver's door, what you get is this over here. These are all, all automatic windows. This, when you press this, no one else can move the windows except for the driver. Uh, these over here are to fold your mirrors electronically. Now the car has to be on for this to work. That's why it's not working. Got the unlock lock button over here. Left mirror, if you want to move it around like a joystick, control it. Right mirror, just like that, move it around uh, to your preference. So this over here is memory seats as well. Uh, but first, let me talk about the electronic seats. So if you're not too familiar on electronic seats, um, forward right here, back right here. This over here, if you move the front part, the front part of the seat moves. Just the back part will move the entire seat. Just like that. This over here is for the backrest and lumbar support. You press this, it pushes it in. And if it's in all the way, press this to push it out. It's a nice cushion. So other than that, you have most important features. Foot brake, gas, you pop this open. Pops open, uh, regular gas. This over here, front hood. You got power doors over here. When you press this, as you know, uh, this was electronic. Now if you don't want that on, if you, so for example, let me just press that button to close it back. Now, if you're wondering why your electronic door doesn't work, it's probably because this is pressed in. When you press this in, you'll hear a beep, and as you can see, it'll be manual. So it's, uh, it's best to just have that feature on so that you can, well, let's actually press this. See, just like that. All right. Other than that, what you have here, uh, well, pretty much I can only talk about these features if the car is on, just like this over here. So what I'm going to do, turn the vehicle, and turn this on. Okay, so, since this car is on, then I can actually talk about the seats right here. So, if you want to, what you can actually do is... Say for example, you like it this far away. You press set, one, and it's set. So, if you want it all the way up close, really, really close, and then say you want it really, really high up, just like that. All right, and then you want to set that to two, press set and two. So now when you press one, it goes all the way back to the first person, and then goes back down, Press 2, it'll go all the way back up. Alright. So, it's a bit loud in here, so I'm actually going to step inside the car and uh, show you these buttons over here. Alright, this over here is traction control. Every car has that, so if you're really stuck somewhere, press this as a last resort. This over here is the parking sensors. So, for example, I'm going to put this car in reverse. You hear the beeping? If I get too close, just like this, it'll beat faster. So if you don't want that on, you can definitely turn that off. I know some people find that annoying. I personally don't really like it. So for me, I would turn it off. But if this is off and you want to press this, it's not going to work. So I'm going to press it. You need the parking sensor on. So press this on, press the view. What happens here? get a 360 view. All right, so press that, turn it off. Last thing is, heat the steering wheel from here to here will heat up. From here to here, it's gonna heat up as well. Last thing is this over here. So for example, headlights. Not sure if you can see that. That pillar just right in the center of the screen. If you roll this down to one, all the way to five, let me show you. So right here, it can actually 
lower it just like that. So right now it's at five. So if you want it slightly back higher up, roll it all the way back to zero and it goes up. All right, pretty neat. So next thing I'm gonna talk about is the steering wheel and all its control. All right, so with the vehicle on, um, I already did explain before in another video about the control. So I'm just gonna save time on this video and link it in the description if you want information to all these buttons. But what you have here is auto lights. All right, so before uh, used to be off, half lights, full lights, but now newer cars have auto. So what you can do is just leave it on auto. It will automatically turn it off if it's too bright turn it on when it's too dark. Fog light's just right over here. If you turn this on, as you can see, you'll see the fog light just right there. Other than that, uh, you have windshield wipers over here, basic window controls right over here. If you're wondering what this is, this over here is to fine tune. Uh, it pretty much if the slow setting is too slow, you can make it faster. The fast setting too high, you make it slower. And this over here is for the rear windows. So you just turn it just like this but I'm not gonna turn it because that's gonna dull the blades on this car. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. The reason why it will dull the blade is because it's not wet. If anytime you use like a squeegee on something that's not wet, it's just gonna dull it. Uh, so I won't do this to this car uh, because when this customer picks it up, it's not going to be dull. So other than that, if you pull this towards you, uh, water will squirt up in the front. Now, if you push it away from you, water's gonna squirt from the back. So I'm not gonna waste any of this uh, wiper fluid so what I'm going to do is move on to this so you can put a CD right here and you can actually play CDs on the big screen there's also uh, room for an SD card that you can put in here uh, that can play videos as well so you can either use a CD or a memory card and you can actually play both if you really wanted to uh, this over here is 12 volt socket all right so you can put a dash cam in there if you'd like uh, you also have heated seats so right now it's off turn it on off this one's for the right one this over here is for uh, auxiliary and Apple CarPlay if you have Apple CarPlay you can definitely just plug your phone in right in here and then plug it in your phone and then enable Apple CarPlay through the screen and then what's gonna happen is that well then you can use Apple CarPlay usually people use it for Google Maps but uh, you can you know do whatever you want with this vehicle uh, this over here rear mode all right this is to control the back of the car the temperature so over here you can adjust it for them uh other than that see you just press on rear control that uh, i will actually show it on this screen right here uh rear mode you press that you can actually cycle between the modes all right so other than that fan controls over here this one's for the right side of the car so let me just turn this on all right there's dual climate control so you can have it cold the other person can have it hot and then the back, you can have it just medium temperature. So I'm gonna turn that right here. You can have it a medium temperature. Now, this button over here, if you press sync, it will sync them all to the driver's side. Okay, so you can control all three at once. So I'm just gonna turn that off. You got your AC controls, air recirculation, uh, increase the fan speeds, and front defogger, rear defogger. If you press the rear defogger, you'll also defog the mirrors. So let me just show you right over here. Do you see that? That is the rear defoggers but if you press that uh, it's going to do that as well so I'm going to talk about the infotainment system all right so what we have here is the infotainment system for the limited Sienna so as of now you get a home screen now if you are connected to Bluetooth this would be quick dial this is whatever's playing on the radio or whatever song you have on your Bluetooth this over here is the navigation so if you wanted to make it full screen you can do the press map or press it right here so as for navigation, it's just the same as any other GPS. All you have to do is first, if you press this and then click search, you can actually enter in any location you want. Okay, so that's the GPS. So as you see here, destination, audio, if you want to tune the radio, definitely can. Right now I have AM, FM radio, let me just turn it down, there you go, okay. One button's just right over here, tuning knobs just right over here. All right, so if you wanted to go to FM or AM, that's just right here. FM and just like this you can have this so you have a nice radio station uh, you know usually some people like 94.5 uh, radio station just right over here so pressing this temporarily mutes it so if you're going to drive through or anything like that or you want to take a call 
uh, you can definitely do that as well. Uh, other than that, phone, if your phone is connected to Bluetooth, you can actually see all your contacts just right over there. Projection is for Apple CarPlay. Apps is for another way of connecting your phone. So say for example, you have an Android device and you want to connect it almost the same way. Uh, you can actually download something called Intune 3.0 and get Scale GPS and actually almost have the same features as Apple CarPlay. But over here, Apple CarPlay, as soon as you plug your device right in here, all right, so see like, do you want to enable Apple CarPlay? You press OK. Make sure your phone has Siri. If you don't have Siri, it's not going to work. Information is just how well you're driving, eco, weather, all that stuff. Settings is where you can customize it. You can turn Apple CarPlay on and off, get rid of the beep, and customize your home screen. All right, so that's pretty much it for the infotainment system. Uh, as you can sell, uh, see, there are different volumes right over here. You can skip tracks, phone, and apps. They're all the same. Okay, so uh, other than that, I'm going to talk about the uh, this right over here. Now, this spot is manual for the sunroof. This part is manual. And so, so the back part is manual. Right here. Now, this is to control the front. So let me just show you this. Press this. This tilts it up. And then it goes, opens all the way. Closing it. It's just as simple as pressing this. All right, this controls the rear. Uh, other than that, this over here is to turn off the lights if you want. This is to lock the roof so that no one can actually open it. You got a shortcut to open the back trunk, side doors, and this over here is the SOS button. So that is the safety connect. So I actually made a separate video on that, which I will also link in the description as well. Uh, over here you get a place to put your glasses. You can also, right now, um, this over here, glasses. All right, so what this, uh, this part is if you want to see what's happening in your cabin. Right now you can't see anything because there is a plastic protection on it. So I'll let the customer peel that off. But that's pretty much it. You got the door switches right here. Off for door lights, this and on. Okay, if you leave it at door, when you open the doors, it will turn on. Other than that, you have this over here. Uh, so this over here, let me just try to focus on that. So if you're wondering what this, these things are, let me just get that to focus. Phone's not really that great. Ah, okay, let me just go like this. There you go. Okay, so what this is, is that it's auto dimming mirrors. So if you press this over here, you'll actually turn that feature off. If there's anybody high beaming you or the car is just really high up, uh, you can actually turn that off automatically. If you press this and that green light's off, that means the auto dimming is not on. You got one, two, and three. If you press this, you get the lights flashing. These three, are to pair your devices uh, for a garage. All right, and that's pretty much it to this vehicle. You also have an instruction manual down here as well. All right, wheel locks are in here. Uh, now, if you don't see your remote at the back, chances are it's in here as well. Instruction manuals and everything. All right, so that pretty much completes this uh, tutorial and hope this video helps you out.